Hey all, Times here, back by some more Planet Zoo, and this is a fairly speedy speed build. Um, so lots of cuts, as you'll see. Um, uh, yeah, I've spent probably about, I think, probably about five or six days recording this one, and had loads of footage. Um, and I'm trying, going to try and start recording some sort of non-speed build stuff soon. But um, I think this is probably the yeah, one of the last ones where I have bolt recorded footage sort of way, way um, before I've started releasing videos. Um, I know I've mentioned that a few times. Um, but yeah, so this is supposed to be me sort of... Um, now, this is the main major feature of the wetlands area. And I think I started to kind of frame out the, way, the edges of the wetlands in this episode. Um, and as, you, as you'll have seen from the thumbnail, this is a... This is a big hippo habitat um, and I hadn't actually realised when I started building it quite how big the pods of um, hippos can be, which is really awesome, um, but actually takes some real planning because if you, I think it's something like 40 that you can have um, in the, 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 the full extent of a pod um, and obviously what that means is as anyone that's built anything with kind of um, you know, more than like two or three animals in a habitat is that it significantly affects the amount of space that they required. So this was my first, you know, in, in sort of putting this first pool together, this is what I thought was going to be actually kind of their primary, um, you know, where, they'd, where they'd be based, to be honest. Um, this is me putting in... As you'll see, I mean, it's going very fast, this speed build, so I do apologise for that. But this is me putting in um, the underwater path. Uh, so if you get the if you get the terrain just at the right position and the right height, you can have the path sort of cut into the water like that. Um, and it's just it's just at the water level or just at the ground level there. It's it's um, it's actually underneath the original terrain uh you see i've switched into to not being underwater there so the, the peeps don't drown um this is me putting so i put this kind of fabricated this little um tunnel thing and then i sort of looked at it a few times and thought oh wouldn't it be cool i should probably slightly change my mind on this now um after the after i did it but what i wanted it is it to look like it's a an actual glass tunnel so you'll see in a second but I, I suss out uh, this may put in some peeps in just to reference to see if they can act, will actually walk through. And they will. They're quite happy to walk through there. They're, I thought maybe they would just turn around and walk back again. Um, but yeah, then I start to realise that actually I want it to look like, um, yeah, you know, I want it to look like it's sort of floating there and, and it's a raised tunnel. Um, so I realised that you can actually use the terrain. So if you see here, I've got the tunnelling setting. Um, set on the on the path here so I'm using the path to tunnel away the terrain um, in order to get this kind of I mean, it looks a bit odd at the moment but you'll see the effect in it uh, in a minute is that I you know I, I, I kind of end up with a path floating here we go so I've now got this sort of raised path and obviously you can do that usually underground um, but not when you're combining it with uh, water like that so it was a bit of fiddle so there's my actual tube and then this ends up being sort of like a supporting structure or a supporting part of the the overall building above so there is going to be um and i appreciate this is all going past really quickly guys but there's going to be uh there's some cinematics at the end so you, this is more of a sort of just showing you the, uh, the process of me putting it together um, and as I said, I think I'm going to probably start doing some um, some non-speed build stuff because I think it's uh, you know, it's people's kind of beneficial for a lot of people to see you know your creative idea at play, but it doesn't really give you um, it doesn't really give you any kind of pointers or indications of how I'm doing that in some in some places. And I know I, I watch a lot of content myself. Um, and I know why we all make speed builds, but it's not necessarily the best, um, the best format to learn from, I find. So, uh, so this speed putting in this this terraced area. So this is, again was like I had this idea from the start that there would be 
the tunnel underneath there and then this sort of terrace above um this is me putting some one of the things i always kind of think is that um the big shame about the the underwater areas is obviously they don't dive down which is a bit of a shame but um it, you can end up with these really sort of boring underwater areas so i just wanted to do i think i'm using i can't remember if they're the liana vines they're, they're vines of some sort but um and i think i i've nicked that idea from um john t from uh geekism so um yeah if you if you put the the liana vines or the vines like that just kind of coming up out of the water that it looks a bit like weeds under there um so now we're building the land bridge um, so this is at the point where I've started to realise, okay, this is going to lead to be a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So, um, because I was like, oh, the, the idea of having kind of 40, you know, 20 or 30 or 40 hippos all in one, um, habitat just seemed like a really cool thing to do. So, um, this is me now building this land bridge. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. Um, you know, this sort of room for expansion still uh you know various different ideas that i kind of just stumbled across as i was doing it there wasn't really any process or planning of this um so this is you know i ended up with this you know the, the bridge the walkover that the hippos can walk over the top of using this um this structure and what that was me realizing oh they will actually walk over it that's amazing so that became part of the build um, so yeah, I think I'll probably leave you with the rest of the speed build guys um, and then yeah, do stay tuned for the cinematics at the end and I hope you enjoyed this one and if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. My name is Toves and I shall catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.